Hey, Kyle. How are you? I'm um, well. How you been? Good. It's been a little while. It's been a little while. But I knew this day would come. <laughs> so did I. Uh, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm good, glad to hear from you again. Yeah, you too. You been doing all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. I know the the, uh, the last time we talked... Um, you know, you were you were already writing this record. Like you had started writing this record, it seems like almost immediately after you finished the last one. Is that right? Um, well, I, I put down some ideas, but actually, I I really didn't. Um, I didn't really, at least whatever I ended up making the record for the most part didn't really get written until um, February of of two thousand and sixteen. Okay. Um, so I, I you know we sort of we we stopped touring. And uh, basically, sorry, one second. Uh, we stopped touring, and uh, you know, I, I I basically had had the house to myself for a month, and and my, my girlfriend was in L.A., and I just you know sat down and really started writing, and uh, that was the beginning of of this record of where it started. Now, when we did talk, though, you, you thought that maybe this record was going to be more of an inward look than the past two had been. Did that prove to be true? Yeah, definitely. In the past, I think I've written from perspective of, you know, other people, characters from, you know, books, whatever. And this record was really the first time that I I felt like I was writing in the first person. And, I mean, the two songs, you know, we heard right off the bat with Bride and Open, they feel like two pieces of the same uh, bigger story. I'm, I'm glad it feels that way. Uh, the The focus on this record was really just to write songs that could stand alone you know, that had enough in them that they didn't need the context of the record. But those two songs are one and two on this record, and so I wanted them to feel like they were kind of connected in some way. Yeah. I mean, when I heard them like that, and, and of course I didn't know the track listing, but I started wondering, it's like, oh, is this, is this, a, is this a conceptual piece? And, and it's sort of all of your records in a way have been conceptual pieces, but I didn't know if you were going for the full-on rock opera yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this one is definitely this one is definitely uh actually less of that than in the past. But I'm glad they still come across as connected because you know, I definitely um, you know, I I do want people to feel like they're following, you know, something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And in and, and, you know, we don't have to get into too many um psychoanalyzation here, but uh <laughs> both songs you mentioned being a ghost, you know, not being seen, and that sort yeah. of stood out. Like what's What's going on there, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, the, a lot of the songs on this record have to do with this kind of feeling of both being present and yet somehow absent from the scene. And I think that that's probably where the ghost comes from. I mean, I, often I, I, I vacillate between feeling, you know, like I'm part of something and feeling like I'm, you know, weirdly not not there when I'm at social gatherings. And Bride particularly is about it's about being, you know, on a wedding day and f- basically having a dissociative experience. Um, and, you know, that's, I, I suppose it's a feeling that's somewhat common for me. It's sort of interesting, of course, being not so much the front man of the band, but definitely, you know, the front piece of the band. Uh, to kind yeah. of put in that situation because I mean that is a unique situation we've talked about that before it's like you know you are the songwriter but when it comes to the presentation you're almost the man in the back you know so the attention I'm a ghost else. at the controls yeah right. Right, exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah I guess I wasn't really thinking about that honestly I was I was you know in terms of the the makeup of the band but I suppose it works. <laughs> I do love what I've heard so far. You, you're a master at this. I'm always impressed. So I'm looking forward to hearing the rest of the record too. And whenever you might be getting back here into uh, into town, we're 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 hoping to come back soon. I you know stay stay tuned because we've had such a good time in Louisville every time I've been there, and uh, I think there's going to be a, a date announced pretty soon. Cool, man. Well, congratulations again, and uh, and good luck out there. And we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks a lot, Kyle. Talk to you soon. All right, take care. Appreciate it. Bye.